Hello, everyone. It's Laurel here. Um, Happy New Year. Um, I just had a few minutes before I rushed off to work today, and um, I wanted to uh, share with you something I had seen in years past that I haven't seen um, just this year on YouTube. But in years past, crafters on YouTube had made a list, if you will, a video list, of their most used or, or favorite products that they acquired in the prior year. So as I was cleaning my desk, um, still not quite done, I thought I would share with you some of um, my favorite things from the past year. And they're in no particular order, um, but I thought I would share them with you as to you know, why I like them and, and or you know if I got a particularly good deal on them and and what's most used. So again, not rated in, you know, uh, what's my most favorite. Um, I have about, uh, I have at least 10 things, maybe 15. So here you go. Fiskars Shortcut Trimmer. Definitely one of my most favorite things. Um, I was very fortunate. A friend of mine uh, made this a gift to me. And I don't know why I was so late to jump on this bandwagon. Um, I had used a cutter peed for years um, and, you know, struggled with having to replace the mats and so forth. Um, I, I like this one very much because, I don't know if you can see, but this does have the guide wire. So it helps me keep things really, really straight. And um, I've had this since um, October. And once I started using it, I haven't stopped. So this is definitely up there. Um, this is the 6-inch platform. I, I foresee the 12-inch platform in my future. Um, you know, maybe in 2012. So definitely, if you're looking for a new cutter, this is one that I really, really uh, like quite a bit. So it's the Fis Fiskars Shortcuts. And they also have um, different blades. The triple track um, is the blades that you need for this one. Um, let's see. I'm just going to pick things up. Um, this year I discovered VersaFine ink. Um, I had used it a little bit in the past, but I really kind of got into using it this year. It's definitely... Um, I won't, I go to many, so many different inks, but I, I was really, really enjoy using this for very, very fine detailed items. Um, it's a very, very crisp image that you get each time you use it. Um, it's an oil-based pigment ink, but it dries fast. That's what I like about it. Um, so you have to be careful what you combine it with, but um, VersaFine, this was the year of VersaFine for me, um, where I actually dug it out of the drawer after having had it for a long time and actually used it. So I was very, very happy about that. Um, so if you were looking for something that you know will get you a really, really crisp, detailed image, um, I would recommend this. Comes in some very nice colors too. Of course, one of my favorite products, probably my most favorite products this year is Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, I gravitate primarily to their Starburst sprays, or, or did this year. Um, I had used them for many years, and um, you know, I, I don't mind sharing that um, I'm a convert. You know, I was seeking out an alternative to Glimmer Mist um, because I, I thought it was very pricey and I didn't get the colors that I was really looking for. And I stumbled upon this and um, it's very, very affordable. Um, when you buy the Starburst sprays, you can get five in a package in an assortment of colors. Um, when they're not on sale, I think they're about $17 or $18. Um, they do ship internationally. Um, but they're almost always on sale. So, And um, shipping is quite affordable because they, they ship them to you without the liquid. Um, you fill them up with water at your, at your home. Um, and in using them, you can create some effects like this. 
Um, I know the camera doesn't pick it up, and it's having a hard time focusing. There it goes. Um, but it is very sparkly. Um, so if I had to choose one company of a product of something that I truly love, it's Lindy's. And I, I feel blessed every day that I was selected for their design team. Um, so yes, I endorsed them, but I endorsed them before they invited me. So it goes on the list. Um, they also sell some things that you might not be aware of, which are uh, mica powders, emboss two-tone embossing powders, wood filigrees, uh, rubber stamps, um, quite, a, quite a few things. Um, and if you're not interested in the spray, you can get it with a dauber top. Um, here's my favorite color. This is the Moon Shadow, which is the vintage. Has more of a it fits with walnut ink, so it has a more vintage-like tone. And this is my go-to color for everything. It's golden to balloons. And then if I had to pick one of my favorite colors, which you can tell because there's hardly anything in here, um, this is Tainted Love Teal. Um, which is just a color that I absolutely love and I've used quite a bit this year. So check out lindystampgang.com for sure. Um, they're probably in the number one position on my list um, for most used things. Um, another thing that uh, made my list that I can't show you, but it's my Tim Holtz Vagabond, and that's the reason it's, it's plugged in actually behind my computer. Um, we went through some ups and downs with the Vagabond, but I still do love it. Um, I, I had some electronic issues and had to have it replaced by Sizzix, but they were very, very gracious to do so. Um, I really am enjoying using it. Um, I wish there was a way to, for it to have a larger platform and bigger dies, but you never know what the future holds, right? Um, so that definitely made my list. Another reason it made my list is because when I originally purchased it, I got a really sweet deal. I got it for only $60. So, um, you know, with when you're paying a lower price, I guess, sometimes you have to put up with a little bit of static, shall we call it. Um, but I didn't mind. I still love it, and um, I use it quite often. So along with that um, is the Tim Holtz Alteration Dies. Um, I really am enjoying the minis um, that work with this base plate. Um, and I wanted to show this base plate because <coughs> my metal is, you know, the adhesive's letting go. <laughs> this works fine. I don't have any problems with it. Um, but Sizzix, you know, I don't know what kind of adhesive you could possibly put in here to make it stay down, but, um, just a side note, I do enjoy you using this with all of the little mini alteration dies, like the bird cage. Um, <clears throat> I have nearly all of them, and um, these are perfectly sized for a card maker, um, and I enjoy making tags quite a bit too. So I found a use for quite a few of them. I will show you a Christmas tag that I made using the mini reindeer was kind of, I only got to do two tags of the Tim's 12 tags this year, and that was my version of one of them. But that's the mini reindeer out of grunge. So, the mini dies, the base tray, the vagabond. I also love the full-size dies and the embossing folders. Um, so I wanted to show you just a, another tag that I made. There isn't a die in the alterations line that I don't like. Um, I don't have them all, but um, I, I use them quite frequently. Um, this year I'm resolving to use my On the Edge more than I have in the past. Um, but this was uh, another tag that I had made. I did not have the rubber stamp, but I did have the embossing folder. So, And then this was the from the strip. This was, I don't know all the names, but this one was the Christmas, you know, garland, and you did get quite a few nice die cuts out of there. So I really enjoyed those this year. And you will, too. 
So I think that one might have been three and one to tell you about. Um, now some simple things that I don't like, that I'd like to share with you. Um, I've used score tape for many years, but this is the year that I really drank the Kool Aid. I got every size that they put out, um, and I've I've made it my adhesive, you know, my tape adhesive of choice when I'm doing product product projects. Pardon me. Um, I really love it. It's affordable. It tears. That's the other reason that I like it so much. It comes in the width that you need it, and it doesn't let go. I have not had a project fall apart when I've used score tape. I have had a project fall apart when I've used other glues or, say, your ATG tape. So, this is, I could have stock in this company. I absolutely love this tape. Score tape, you can find it at scorepal.com. Um, another new company, or company new to me, that I um, just made one purchase with this year, but it was probably my most used stamp set of the season, um, and that's Paper Tray Ink. Um, I picked up this In the Meadow set, um, and quite honestly, when I first started shopping their site, I was a little bit put off because of the price, and that they're acrylic, you know, they're acrylic stamps. Um, I, I take that back wholeheartedly, because when I got them, and I saw how that they're a very high quality acrylic and that the detail that you can get from the words and so forth is just second to none. The other thing that really sold me was the ability that they have these wafer thin dies <coughs> that you can use with your die cutting machine um, to cut out, like say you were to stamp this tree, there's a die that matches up perfectly with that. And the dies are very inexpensive. Um, and you get a lot of bang for your buck when you buy the stamp set. Um, I don't know that all of them have this many images, but um, most of them do from the sets. So I will go back and patronize Paper Tray Ink again in the future. Um, I've been very, very pleased with how you know, and I use this particular set all season long. Um, I made gift bags for my staff. That was 50 in the, with this, with these deer and the snowflakes. I made tons of Christmas cards with the, you know, with the horse and carriage. Um, I made Christmas cards with the glitter tree. Um, it, w it was a whole, whole lot of fun. So. I encourage you to go check them out. It's paper tray t r e y ink dot com. That was another one. Um, to go along with, you know, I mentioned the glitter technique. Another one of my favorite project products that I rediscovered this year was Stampin' Up's heat and stick powder. I haven't found it anywhere else, um, but you could check your uh, Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, I've had this jar probably for five years, and I've used it quite a bit, but there's still a lot in there. And basically what you would do to utilize this, this creates a glue covering so you can, you know, glitter something, or um, that's what I use it for predominantly. Um, you could use the same thing with a Xyron, but I don't find it to be as clean. So, for example, you would stamp your image in Versamark. You would go over it with the heat and stick powder. You'd heat set it. Then you would sprinkle your glitter on top, shake off the excess, and heat set that. And what you get is a very, very vibrant um, glittered surface, perfect for the holidays. So heat and stick powder, strongly recommend that. Um, it's only a couple of bucks, and keep it in your stash for when you want to add that extra sparkle. Um, what else did I like this year? A um, couple of things. I've liked this for several years. And it's coming down to the end. <laughs> this is some um, hardware store twine. Um, I guess you'd call it twine. It's actually probably um, 
twine that you use to wrap up your like parcels, um, mailing twine. Um, I got it at my grocery store, and it was this big when I got it. And I've had it for a number of years, and I use it almost every card I make. Uh, I really enjoy the look of it. Um, I like that it's a craft color. Um, so, and I think it was only a couple of bucks. So that's something that I've used quite a bit. Um, trying to figure out a better way to store it than I use currently. But well, it is. It's hard to see, and my camera's going back and forth. Okay, so I'm just checking my list. This Christian Oh, the only other thing on my list, and there was many other things. Um, well, there's two things, actually. Um, this year, I really got into the We Are Memory Keepers Wide Eyelets. I like to use them on my minis. Um, they come in a variety of colors. A book ring will slide through that, um, which is why I like them. Um, I think that they just give a very, very finished look. Um, they were very hard to come by for a long time, so when I found them, I stocked up. And um, I think I find them most often on, um, at Carleen, the pink scrappers, and they're affordable. And Every time I place a little order, I just get myself some. And over time, that's how you come up with, you know, this many. Um, I think I gravitated more to the cool meadow colors than I did the browns and the whites, but you never know what you're going to need. Um, let's see, what else? Oh. I guess the iPhone could go on the list. I got the iPhone 4S this year, and I, I'm not convinced if it's too much fun for me or not. Um, also on my list was My Mind's Eye paper. Um, they came out with a couple of different lines this year that I really liked. I'm not necessarily a pink or a brown person. I'm more of a vintage person. Um, the only criticism that I have is that it's single-sided paper, but for most of the projects that I do, it's perfectly fine. Sometimes it'll have a little bit of glitter on it, um, but... You know, you can pick up a stack of 12 by 12, 54 sheets, single-sided, on sale for 10 bucks. Hard to beat. Um, I have even some other 6 by 6 that I used on a lot of projects this year. Just something I liked. Um, as I look around through the studio, I have Christmas paper from my mind's eye and so forth. I think that I might have been drawn to it initially because of the price point, but when I really think about it, I like the patterns. So, that was another thing that made my list this year. And then probably the last two things. Um, Tim Holtz Ideology. Um, I kind of went nuts with that this year. But my most used item of ideology were these corners. And what's funny about it is Years ago, when I first started doing all this, I um, I would I went after these types of things um, at our local store, scrapbook store. And they were very they were a lot small they were a lot lot smaller. Um, so these are actually very fancy, by my estimation. But I love them, and um, please don't ever stop making them because I use them quite a bit. And then the last thing to put on my list, um, aside from stamps, you know, I got into Tim Holtz stamps this year, the red rubber ones, um, is the Stauber box. Um, the Stauber box, um, <clears throat> you can find them at stamp stores. I was very fortunate that a dear friend of mine saw that, uh, <clears throat> I was purchasing it, purchasing one on a trip, and she had a source near near to her where they were affordable, and she made me a um, birthday gift out of a couple of them. 
Um, I really, really like the Dauber box method. Um, it finally got me away. I was using cosmetic sponges forever, and then I tried the Tim Holtz blending tools, and I just could not find a, a good way to keep them organized. This is nice and neat. Fits right on my fingertip. Just dress away with whatever ink color I'm utilizing. I never saw an edge that didn't need ink. So there you go. So a dauber box with the corresponding daubers. Definitely on my list. So to recap, for me this year, it's my Fiskars Triple Track Trimmer, my Vagabond, my Sizzix Dyes. Um, predominantly the um, Tim Holtz ones of all shapes and sizes. My Lindsay Stamp Gang, Moonshadow Mist and Starburst Sprays. My Versafine Ink, my Stampin' Up Heat and Stick Powder, my Twine, the Score Tape, the Extra White Eyelets by We Are Memory Keepers, Paper Tray Ink, Stamps, and Tim Holtz Stamps. The actual Stampers Anonymous ones. And my mind's eye paper and ideology. Um, <clears throat> so I hope that you found this video to be informative. I'm sorry it took me so long to show you everything. There's just so much to love, right? And um, I hope that uh, you have a very happy and creative 2012. Thanks for watching.